Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. I, I really don't know what it's going to be like trying to do a contract potato job, but I've done weeding in this field. Uh, we, we, we did herbicide spraying in this field, so that's done. I'm now putting fertilizer on this field. This is the first coat of fertilizer that we're putting onto this field. And then when we've had another growth stage, I would like to put more fertilizer on this field. So overall, this field is going to, um, you know, in theory, it should have a pretty good yield on it. Now, I don't know what the situation is with plowing. It's certainly going to need to be plowed after the potatoes have been harvested. I know that much. So we will potentially um, have a plowing job to do once that's finished. Whether or not it's currently registering it as being ploughed or not, I, I don't know. Let me just line that one up over there like that, and then... No, don't do AI extension. Right. Off you go. Yeah, that's just out to the edge of the field. We're not wasting fertiliser on there. We'll follow that one down to the end of the field so that we can just do a pass along there and then run up the other side over there. That should then offer the most efficient coverage on the field. So I've got field 19 right there, already on 16% done. Um, right, it was in here I wanted to have a look at. I want to go to soil composition. We don't know. Field 19 does not need plowing. So that's already got the plowing bit done on it. We don't need that. That isn't going to be any kind of concern. And we've done weeding on this field. So there's no weed on there. We're doing fertilizer now. And it's a low growth stage at the moment. So we should be able to put another round of fertilizer on that field as well. Which means, in theory, we should get a good yield off of this field. So it could be an interesting one to do with potatoes. Now, obviously, if we are going to do a potato harvest, I would prefer it if we're taking it to rail. Uh, like, if it's going to the Felsbring grain mill, that's fine. We can dump the potatoes in there. What are our sell points for root crops? That's a good point, actually. Let's go and have a look. Uh, we've got, right, potatoes and sugar beet go to the supermarket, go to the grain mill, or go to the Felsbrin grain mill. So, actually, that will be fine. Uh, you over here, let me just go round. I want to go round the field now. I'm going to just manually drive along the bottom end of this field, and then I'll set the hide help moving down that other side. And that'll be the rest of this field taken care of. And then once this one's done, I can drop over into field 21. And field 21 is a bit smaller than this one. Which means that so long as we don't... Well, we've got 1,600 litres left. So long as we don't use very much more than 1,000, we should be all right. Now, just pretend I didn't drive through the fence right there. I should have stopped much earlier and then started the hired help from down here. Uh, let's move over there. I think that's about right up there off you go yeah that's fairly well lined up let's have a look in here right anyway so those are the three places it'll either be the grain mill the supermarket or Felsbring grain mill from here grain mill is just over there so we'd be coming out the bottom corner of that field and traveling over to there supermarket is just in town so we come out the middle and we'd go over to here or we run it into railroad silo west uh, for pickup by the train to take off to Felsbring Grain Mill. So we aren't going to be having... We're not going to have to travel very far for a potato harvest from Field 19, which is really good um, because there's going to be a lot of bulk crop in there. It's just going to be quite a substantial undertaking to go and do that one. Uh, field 21 is in need of ploughing. There's not a lot that we can do about that. So next... Right, let's, let's start lining up some more jobs then, shall we? Uh, oh, I want to see how much we got. We got 2.7 hectares here in 19, and 21 is only 1.3 hectares, right? It's about half the area of this one. So, so long as I've got 600 litres, 650 litres of fertiliser left in the tank after we've done this field, uh, we should have enough to do field 21, in theory. Okay, now we need to start having a look. We got Sandro Abe Glenn there. 
Have we got any more with Sandro? Let's have a look for Sandro first. He's got a distinctive red shirt. He's easy to recognize. Right, there are no more with him. We've got Joel Morganegg right there. Joel? Joel? I, I don't know how to pronounce it with Joel. I don't know how to pronounce it with the double dots on the E right there. If someone who does know, can you tell me, like, spell it out phonetically in the comment section if you can, um, how I should be pronouncing. Like, I'm, I'm wanting to say Joel, but I'm, I'm wondering if that's slightly, maybe it's Joel I'm, I'm supposed to be pronouncing it. I'm, I'm not quite sure on, on that one. And I'm, I'm also assuming that it's a slightly soft J on it as well, but it, it, I might be getting that bit wrong. But anyway, I need to have a look and see if he's got any other contracts here. And... Uh, Oh, he does. He has got one, but that's a harvest job. So I haven't got any more sort of dual fertilizing jobs I can take from him. we got Nils Osterwalder right here. Oster Osterwalder. V it'd be a V, wouldn't it? Uh, Nils Osterwalder. And he also doesn't have anything else. Samuel Egger. Samuel. Where are you, Samuel? I'm sure I've seen Samuel here somewhere. Nope, I didn't see a Samuel. Uh, uh, Maria Zumbrun. Maria and Hans Swaley. Han Hans Swaley. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's stop butchering names. There's another one, but he's a bailing job. I'm definitely not taking that one because we haven't put any fertilizer or anything on that grass field. I suspect that's just going to stay as it is, though. i got a feeling that one's not going to actually let us go and, like, put fertilizer and stuff on it. Right, and the rest of these fertilizing jobs, they're all owned by different people. Yeah, all of them are owned by different people, so we're just going to have to take them, like, one at a time, I think. Uh, field 9 fertilizer, he's way over the other side. I've got field 4, which is also way over the other side. He's solid fertilizer. Field 10 is liquid. Actually, we could do field 10 and field 9. They're right next to each other. That's 2.78 and that's 2.76. If I take this one and put two tanks of fertilizer into it, we'll do this one first. Borrow items. Field 10, two tanks of fertilizer into that one, and then I can switch over to field 9. And that will eat into a second tank, I suspect. So let's go to you and go borrow items for that contract right there. I'm going to want two tanks of fertilizer. I'm on 11,061 litres left. It's going to drop just below half of the fertilizer that I bought before it gets down to the end, isn't it? It's going to get below 1,000. And this was about two, this is about the same size as the field ten. I've just yeah, I, I think I'm right in estimating two tanks. With this one right here, I think two tanks of fertilizer is going to be right. So I need to go and buy that. I mean, if it isn't, I'm going to have more jobs that are going to need spray fertilizer anyway. So we'll be fine with it. It's just I I'm getting these two at the moment because the two contracts are in fields right next to each other. So I can go to this one, and then the next contract is with a machine that won't be able to take the full amount of fertilizer in it anyway. So I'll take you right there. This one, however, will take both tanks of fertilizer, so I can put all 4,000 liters in here, go and do a job, and then the next tank of fertilizer, uh, the next tank, which is the, you know, the other one that I'm using, that one will cover the rest of it. Right, let's go to you and that one right there. This takes 2,800 litres in total. So if I use, so long as I use 1,200 litres on my big fertiliser tank that I've got over there, that will be absolutely fine. I've definitely got enough to go and do the small field over there. And I'm thinking I will probably empty out the fertilizer on the side of the field when I'm finished with that field. I'll empty out the tank, and then I'll be fine. And remember, this, this field over here, the same farmer owns these two fields. So we are absolutely fine with using the same machine on these two fields. That is not any kind of a problem at all. No farmer is going to complain about that. 
Not unless he's like working two completely separate farms that are a little away from each other. And he doesn't want, um, he's got uh, maybe cross-contamination issues um, and worries and, or something like that. that. That's a possible reason that he would have for not wanting you to do it. It's going to let the hired help keep a straight line for me running up across there. It's a lot easier than me trying to do it. Um, plus, then we're paying out wages. You know, we're, we're supporting the local economy. And I feel that that is an important aspect of what we're doing here. You know, we're not just here to scrape as many pennies as we can and gouge the place for as much as we can get. We're, we want to be part of this community. We, we don't just want to gouge the pennies and then disappear. We wish to be part of this community. We, we wish to actually integrate into society here. And part of that societal integration is supporting the local economy by providing employment, which is what I'm doing right now. There we go. See, I'm providing employment. I've got somebody here. I'm, I'm just teaching him the basic. Uh, actually, it's a her. I'm teaching her the basics of using a sprayer. So I'm just, I'm just getting a set up with the little bits around the edges of the field. And then once we're happy that she sort of has a full grasp and a, a full understanding of it, we're just going to leave her carry on and finish off this field, which is about to happen now as soon as she gets to the end of this row. Go on, a little bit further. And right there. And then we will just make sure that she turns it around okay, like that. And then I've got a little bit of fertilizer. Yeah, I'm going to have a couple hundred liters left. Right, off you go. Same lady. I, I like that. You know, it's it's not that often that if you like dismiss a hired help and then you immediately go back and you start another one, it like it doesn't change very quickly. So you, you do end up like the same person still working in the tractor, or at least it looks like it. And I, I like I've noticed that quite a bit. It does actually seem to work for the most part where you get the same person coming back. And that is a little tiny detail that I do quite like in just little things. Like with the time-lapse series, I have that happen uh, on a fairly regular basis. And I find that really, really cool, the way that that does actually work. Right, Field 22 is now fully ripe and ready to roll. Does that mean that all the other fields have just jumped on a growth stage, or is it just that one? I don't know if it's just that one, or if it's all of the fields have now jumped to growth stage. Let's have a look. Let's go in here. Field, uh, no, I want to go one more right there. Field 22. Those are now a more advanced harvest stage. We've got more of them. Yeah. Everything has just jumped on one growth stage. Everything is, other than the fields that we're currently working, all the other fields have advanced one growth stage. So 14 and 17, where I did previously have fertilizer jobs for that. I should have just accepted every fertilizer job that was going. Um, but I can't do that because I don't have the machinery for it. I, I don't have the space for it. Once we get more of our own fields, we will, you know, once we get some field and we get our own machinery, I should be able to do that. I'll be able to just um blanket accept fertilizer jobs for eight different fields and then just work my way around all of them and then complete the contract right at the end um i should really like the idea of being able to do that this it definitely feels like it would be something that would be a bit more realistic than what we do at the moment uh, you know, where we accept one contract and then we, we faff around with the machinery and so on and then we go and accept another contract and yada 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 so on and so forth. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that this is something that we're going to be aiming for in the future is, is just mass accept a huge great big chunk of them and contract on field 21 is finished. We'll, well, the, the job will be finished in a minute so we can just run this one down here get you set up on field 10 and then we can sort of finish off the rest i'm gonna have to manually do a bit here on field 10 i have to do like the ends of it because it's got quite a lot of angles on this field this one's a little bit more tricky just to make sure everything is lined up and, and done correctly bring you right round like that on up to this side I'll worry about handing in the other contract once I've got this one started. 
I need to get this one go. We need to get this one underway. Bring you in here. We're racing against the clock now. Ooh, actually, I know we're racing against the clock a little bit, but we're not, like, hugely racing against the clock. Do we have another... Oh, no, we're not going to have... A th I was just wondering if we had another contract for doing field... Uh, not field 21, field 19, but no, we don't. Right. Helper H completed the task. You know, as I've not started this one yet, let's go over to you and just make sure that you have actually completed. Yes, right. Fertilizer is done in there. I jump out of the tractor a minute. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go here. Now, what I want to do is I just want to have a look at this. So we've got 19 and we've got 21. Obviously, they've not gone forward a growth stage because we've got contracts running on them at the time. And they don't do that. If you've got a contract active... It stops the growth from happening on them, and you don't get any further. Can't have a look and see about fertilizer on here, and because we haven't got soil samples, I'm unable to take any nitrogen readings on those crops right there. So we are literally just going to have to do it like this. So we've got field 21. That one is complete. I've got the least cost on there. I can collect that bit. And then I've also got field 19. I've got a little bit left in the tank. And because most of these fertilizer jobs have now switched over, I've got one liquid one there. And I've got one liquid one there. Is it worth me emptying? How much have I got left in here? Is it worth me emptying this out? I've got 400. I've got a quarter of a tank. Oh, I think it is. I am actually going to do it. I know that it's only going to be like a couple hundred litres in it. Um, and that means I've actually got to get... Oh, look. Zero to 200 kilos per hectare. It's, it's not actually giving me anything at all on there. But it's got the nitrogen map. I can't read anything on it because we haven't done any soil sampling. So it's not going to bring me anything on it. Do that. I've now unloaded. Ah, and it's instantly switched that off. It switched off that mode on the map. Okay, I'll leave that one there, and then I can come through and I can pick that one up at any point when I want to. And we go back into here. We will go to our active contracts. That one right there, 3,700 to collect. Excellent. There. So field 10. Let's go and get that one. We, yeah. We'll continue on with field 10 right here. And I need to be going that way for it. You are actually running. No, you're not running. Uh, why? Oh, it's because it was hanging off the side. So it's like the, the, the little point on the field is refusing to do it. Because it's saying that this is reserved for contract work only. I'm going to... I can do it there, I think. There we go. Right. That's worked. And it was it was refusing to allow the fertilizer to come out of the machine. That's why it was still doing it. Okay, now we can carry on. We can go on up through here. We can get these kind of angle bits done. And then I'll run down to the other end of the... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to drive and manually do most of this field actually um and we'll get down to the other end of the field down there and then complete that now i've got i've got nothing at the moment because i've taken no soil samples off of this field i've got nothing on here what we're going to need to do is we will slowly accumulate our money over time until we've bought our own land and one of the first things that we're going to be buying i mean i want a tractor i want a fertilizer spinner and I want a weeder. Those are going to be among the first things that we buy. We have our own land. We're not going to be doing very much with it immediately. We're going to be um, saving our money to get some other things. So I've got to also I've got to save up the money for those items. I need the tractor, fertilizer spinner, weeder, and I'm also going to want the soil sampling unit. And then any of these jobs that we're doing, we're going to want to start doing soil samples. Now, I don't know if... I, I don't know how frequently we are expected to do soil sampling. I know that it does say that it goes out of date. And there is even a, a thing on there that says that the soil sample is out of date. But 
do like it doesn't seem to me like we should be doing soil sampling uh while the crops are in the ground i would say that you know you sort of wait until once you've done the harvest then we would go and do the soil sample and we'd be able to check exactly what we've got and where um and we can like run our calculations from that so that's that's my guess is that we, we we're supposed to kind of wait until after the harvest is done and then we can go and do our soil samples and when we can sort of deal with everything so that's how i'm going to plan on it once harvest jobs are done then we can get soil samples being taken but in order to do that we've got to be able to have the land and i don't know if i can sample soils on contract fields so I don't know if I've got to like take a plowing contract on a field and then I can go and do the soil samples first or if I've actually got to own the fields in order to be able to do soil samples at all. It might be that I have to own the fields and if I do have to own the fields it's going to make it a little bit more tricky to act to like do any of this. It's, it's going to be more guesswork involved. Although if the, the contracts are there and sort of pointing to it, it's not like we can go and add lime or anything like that to the fields. Uh, not AI extension. Thank you. We'll just do it like that and start you up here. So I've used up 600 litres on this job and it's now going to go down across the field and use up a little bit more. I've got field 9 right next to me. I know I've got another contract available on that one. The ploughing is almost done. I can't leave that not that up through there i can't do it we're gonna have to manually just go up through and do that both ends of well the other end of the field i think we're all right definitely that bit we, we are gonna have to go back through and tidy that bit the plowing is nearly done we, we nearly finished this field it's fantastic right uh i'm back to this one right we, we yeah we, we need to actually accept the contract don't we so uh field nine fertilizer right there so i will borrow the items like that and what I can do with this one, though, is... I was just thinking about this. I can take this one. We can run over and we can pick up that 500 litres of fertiliser that's just dumped by the side of the road next to field 21. And we can at least make a start with using that little bit of fertiliser. Then we can, we can worry about the others in a minute. Oh, but A has completed their task. You haven't completed anything at all. You've just got to the end of the field and decided you can't be bothered to do any more. Which is not very helpful if you actually want to stay employed, is it? I know I'm helping the local economy here a bit, but I'm, I'm not so keen to help the local economy that I'm willing to just let you come in willy-nilly and do whatever you please. You, you are actually going to have to, to, to pull your weight and, and do your job properly. You, you, you realise this, yes? Um, I, I'm, I'm just, just putting that out there. And I am going to need to do two passes. There's, there's no way that it's going to um, reach over, even if I move over a little bit more to account for the boom sticking out. It's not going to do it. So I'm going to actually move over this way and deliberately do a half measure on there, like that. And hope that it will be able to turn around and finish that bit off. There, right. Back to you. Let's go and get that 500 litres. We'll put that into the back of this machine. Then we can get over to field 9 and we can sort of just make a start on the outside edges. And then as soon as field 10 is finished, we can unload the rest of that. Drop it by the side of the field and we can load some of it into this one. And then contract on field 10 is finished. But we've actually got to finish the work. That is one thing that every... well. 90% of you, that is one thing that you all said was, you know, this is a realistic series, so we definitely don't want to be leaving chunks of um, unfinished field on the contracts. We need to complete a job. All jobs must be completed. We can't just say all oh, the contract is finished, despite the fact that we've still got six acres of land untouched on that field. We're just going to give up right now. No, we're not doing that. We are actually going to do all of these jobs properly. If we have a contract, then we will do it. So that field needs to be filled. 10. I say the contract is done, but that's not acceptable. We are going to complete. And I can go running off down here. I'm waiting for it to say field 5 contract complete. Haven't had that one come up yet. 
The old five contract complete is going to be quite a nice thing. Um, something I would like to see on maps is I know that I've sort of done this whole thing with the genetically modified cotton so that we can have alpine cotton and it was a, a long running thing that I started right back in the Felsbrin time lapse series just so that we could see cotton despite the fact that I was working in the Alps. It would be nice to disable certain crops on a map so that if you're in the Alps, you're not going to see fields of cotton. Um, it also probably wouldn't be very realistic to see fields of sunflowers in this particular region. It just, like, it, it does, does not compute. It doesn't add up. You wouldn't see fields of sunflowers here. So why have we got fields of sunflowers here? Now, you are you actually complete? I can't check. I got no way of seeing if it's actually done the whole job or not. And what's going to make this more difficult, more frustrating, is in longer crops, you're not going to be able to see quite so easily where you've already applied the spray or the fertilizer on the ground. Not without being able to see it on a map. Um, and I rely quite heavily on them. I mean, usually I just do one pass along a side and then let the hired help do the rest of it. And hope that they've done a reasonable job. But I still double check it on a map. So that I can see that they've sort of done everything that they're supposed to do. And this kind of what we got going on here. Is definitely going to make that a bit more difficult. Okay. There is that fertilizer right there. I'll leave it. And I will go over to here. You can stop there. Jump back to this one. And we'll complete that job a second. So that's field 10, fertilizer complete, 3,700 collect. Right, that's done. And now I've got field 9 to go and do. So what else have I got in the way of fertilizer? I've got field 4, which is solid. Uh, field 5 is solid fertilizer. Field 6 is liquid. There. Field 20 is also liquid. So 6 and 20, we've got liquid fertilizer. 20 is back here. Six is the little one up there. Right, field six, we can do a drive-by from field nine. We'll be able to uh, pick it up and then take it on up so that we can um, use it for that one. And then field 20 is stuff that's got to be brought back. That's going to be field six. Yeah, you haven't got a very big fertilizer spreader, so we may end up having to bring what's left in this tank back to here. We'll see how that goes. And field 13... Cassandra Steiner. Oh, that's just across the road. We'll do field 13 next because we can dump the excess fertilizer here and then we can carry on in field 13. That does actually make a lot of sense to go and do that. Contract on field 3 has finished. The contract has finished. He's not finished plowing it yet, so he's going to keep going with that. I'm going to fill this one right up just because I can. And I haven't done that before. There's no way we're going to be using all of this. But I still want to. So I'll fill all of that one all the way to the brim. Like that. And I've got spare fertilizer lying on the ground. we got loads of fertilizer left over here. So field 13 right there. That's quite cool that we'll have that one. I could actually go and get that one in a minute. Uh, pick up the bit of fertilizer that's left in that tank and just make a start on field 13. And then I've got X left over on this one we'll be able to use that as well probably shouldn't have filled this one right up should I let's start out over there like that and do a pass along this side of the field and then oh, probably just set hired help going now I'll drive down to the other end and do a pass across that end as well before I set the well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. So while I sit up here and enjoy this view and a well-earned break, could you please consider taking a look at the links in the description down below? We have Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, who are very, very reliable, and they provide us with a server on our Discord channel. And there is also Fanatical, where you can buy all kinds of different computer games for various different platforms. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.